And now, a battle of the greats. Is the Orochi V2 better than the Logitech G305? <laughs> Absolutely, no contest. The G305 had its time in the sun, and it was glorious. But the Orochi V2 has taken it over by having a better shape, size, weight, side buttons, and battery life. The primary click, scroll wheel, and sensor are close, but the slight edge goes to the Orochi V2, and I'm no stranger to the Logitech G305 as it was my main mouse at work for years. But I've completely forgotten that it exists ever since. I got the Orochi V2, but here's just some quick ad lib comparison for the side buttons. You can see they're about the same size, but these stick out more and they just feel a lot better to the press compared to these that have a lot of post travel and then just not as strong of spring back force. The primary clicks, of course, this has Logitech's mechanical tensioning system inside it, which are excellent, making them very consistent on use with low pre and post travel. But the Razer Rochi has the same exact thing, not the mechanical tensioning system, but kind of does, but doesn't have an official term for that. But anyways, what I'm saying is that like the clicks on this are just as low for pre and post travel and feel just as good and consistent. Moving on to the scroll wheel, as you can see for both of them, they are very similar where this guy doesn't lift off too much kind of with both. Both of them honestly feel almost exactly the same. This one is a little bit more loose than this one and a little bit louder but this is also a lot older of a mouse. As you can see, paint job wise, they are gonna be very close, but I would say that this one actually has a better paint job and feels better than the Logitech G305. On the bottom, this guy doesn't actually have any Bluetooth in it. It just has the hyperspeed, or not hyperspeed, what is uh, Logitech's? I'm blanking, so I'm gonna move on where this has both on the bottom. However, this switch is excellent, making it very easy to move. Also, the PTFE feet on these are not nearly as good as this, but it still tracks really good. And the Logitech has an outdated hero sensor for 12,000 DPI because it didn't get the update. I don't know if you can update that or not, but maybe you can. But anyways, it's hero sensor is excellent. Focus Plus sensor is excellent. Shouldn't have to worry about the sensors. Obviously, you have a single battery port instead of a dual battery port like you have on the Orochi, which again, just makes the Orochi a little bit better. Both have a DPI button. Both have the same amount of clicks. Both of them are relatively the same size, but the Orochi obviously is just a little bit smaller. And if I actually put this back together, as you can see, it can hold the dongle right here is where it holds the dongle for the Orochi. So both of them have that feature. This one actually snaps into place with like magnets and stuff where this one's a slide. Again, I think the Orochi does it better. And last but not least, the shape is going to be very hit or miss. I do like how Logitech, you have a lot of grip underneath the mouse to hold it and everything is really nice. But I still think that the shape on the Orochi is just more comfortable as it just it just fits more naturally into the hand where this one has a very very flat top doesn't really have much of a hump but both of them as you can see kind of have the inclined design even though with the white here i have a little too much white so it's kind of blowing it out i apologize for that um yeah so that is my very very quick comparison of the g305 that i didn't point to and the razor roji v2 mm -hmm.